Today we'll be seeing constructors in Kotlin. So we'll be looking onto primary constructor and secondary constructor. So before getting on to knowing what is constructor, every project that we try to explain, every concepts that we try to explain in our videos, we try to solve some problem. Today we'll be seeing a binary tree uh, problem. So we want to construct a binary tree in Kotlin. Before that, you know, I will be telling you how to initialize a constructor, what is primary constructor and secondary constructor. The next video would be how we can create a binary tree. So now if you want to construct a binary tree, we know that a tree has left node and a right node. Keeping this in mind, we'll be creating classes so that we can understand we have a root node, we have a left and we have a right. That's the children node. So I'll create a class uh, called node. So node, and now you know that a node has left and right children. So, so I can define a variable that is right, which is of type node. So now I want to initialize right uh, in my constructor. So that's what we'll be doing. So I would initialize that with null for now. So then I have another variable left. So that's again of type node. And I want to initialize that again later part. And we have the data, you know, the data that consists in that node. So I can define that as data. I can say that to be int and even I want that to be initialized in the constructor. So we don't need the, uh, you know, semicolon here. Uh, you know, it's a practice that it's just coming up. So basically this is my class. This is how we create a class, my class node, which has right and left because the right and left again will be having a node. Uh, again, that has a children. So that's the hierarchy because we would be trying to solve a binary tree in the whole of this series uh, while explaining the primary and the secondary constructor. So now I want to have a constructor. So in order to have a default constructor, we have something called init in Kotlin. So I'll be using init and let's see how can we uh, initialize right, left and data. So I'll be initializing my data part. That's the integer because I'm not interested right now to create a child uh, notch. I just want to see how to initialize constructors and then how do I put value to data. So in it is where we try to initialize the data. So it's like a primary constructor. So data is equal to data. So this this is like this dot keyword refers to the class object and we can pass anything here. That's my data. So here I would say I want to pass my data, which is of type int. Okay, now you can see the difference. This data is being used in the primary constructor. So what if I don't do this. So basically you have a constructor and where do you initialize primary constructor like this is a primary constructor. So you're passing the parameters in the class level. So you need to have an init block that's like a primary constructor. It can have multiple arguments. So I can also have something like name that is string. We can have a name and string but this will uh, deviate from what we are trying to achieve. That's the binary tree. So I just keep the data. So I have uh, in it and I have my data. So this is what it is. So now I want to initialize the class that is node. And then I want to pass 15 to this. So now you can see node, I'm passing the data to this class. That's my primary constructor. And using in it, I'll be able to initialize the value 15 and I'll be able to print it. So I, I would uh, get this in a type called node. And what should be the data type of this? It's not node, it's of type var. So you don't use new keyword here. This is not used. Uh, you just try to initialize it. So this constructor will be called and we are initializing the data. And now this data is initialized with value 15. So how do we see the output? So I say print node dot data. Yeah. So let's run this program and see whether the primary constructor is working. So I run the program. Yes, you can see 15 has been initialized. So in order to create secondary constructors in Kotlin, we have a keyword called constructor. So whenever you are using the keyword constructor, uh, you have to make sure you are calling the primary constructor that is the init. So it shows like, you know, insert this. So, so whenever you are calling the secondary constructor, it is very important that you initialize the primary constructor or which is in the init block. So the primary constructor would get initialized. So this is, the important thing that we have to notice for interviews as well. So whenever you are defining a secondary constructor, you have to make sure you call the init or the primary constructor, how many parameters that is defined in the class 
uh, level so now we look into like how can we have this here so i say in data and i pass data to this class and i can have one more parameter it says name of type string okay now the error is gone this is because whenever you have data and int which is of type int it means you are trying to call the primary constructor so there's no need of having a secondary constructor with the same one parameter right so it was showing an error now it's clear because we have two parameters and this works fine so this is the way we create secondary constructors i would like to initialize this dot data here so when i initialize this dot data here uh, so let's see what's the output it's null why is the output null because we are not initializing the data in the primary constructor right so you can see that you have node and you are calling uh, the primary constructor and i have just commented out i'm still not calling the secondary constructor so that's why it is null so don't get confused i'm just calling here the primary constructor so now if I enable this, just to make sure the code is working, like this is being sent, this data is sent, and this dot data is initialized with value 15. So here, instead of this, I can write print of my name. So that would be more clear. You can now uh, see like whenever we call the secondary constructor here from our main method. So I can pass my name, that is Deepesh. Right, no need of a semicolon. So now my secondary constructor is called and it prints the name as well as it calls the primary constructor. That's very important. So let's see the output. Now, yes, you can see the page and 15 because uh, you know there is no space and you know I'm just using print to print it. So this is the concept of primary and secondary constructors in Kotlin. So moving forward, we want to create a binary tree. Uh, you know what are basics that is required. You know initializing in the primary constructor and the secondary constructor is here. In the next video, we can see how we can create a binary tree. So this video is just to make sure you understand the concept of primary and secondary constructor. So going forward, we would create a binary tree and with using recursion so that you understand more concepts. Stay tuned and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.